I'm not worried about the gig. But I'll tell you what I am worried about. This recession. The government's conservative, taxes are rising, wages are falling, people are scared, they're petrified. The pound of rise a shillings worth, a full tank costs an arm and a leg. Houses aren't even as safe as houses anymore. People aren't safe in their own homes. 14 year old kids getting murdered on the streets. Asbo kids binge drinking on park benches till all hours in the morning. We can't even get on a bus anymore. They take up the whole of that back road, listen to that hip hop grime noise they call music, off their faces on MDMA or Meow Meow or wherever else they can get their thieving little hands on. That's why teenage pregnancy rises through the roof. We know things are bad, worse than bad, they're crazy. And all you do is sit there in your open living rooms talking to absolute strangers on Facebook. And you wonder why our young sons and daughters are starting to come and see celebrities as football players and wags, it's madness. And it seems as though you've given up. But I'm not gonna let you give up. I want you to get mad. Um, you're right, Frank. Yep. Uh, do you want me to leave the water in for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, cheers, mate. So why are you staying at Michael's, Frank? Well, you're not going to believe this, right? The Polish family living above me the other night decided to throw a party. The music was so loud it came through the roof. No, literally, they came through the roof. It's a good job they're builders. You're shit, you're shit, you're shit, you're shit, you're shit. It's been quite nice having Frank around the house. He's like the brother I never really had. I've been quite nervous about the gig, but he's been helping take my mind off of things. Well, this is shit. Is there anything else on? Michael's never really had a father figure in his life, so maybe, maybe that's why I'm here. And, and besides, Laura's a fantastic woman, so... Have you two...? Well, we haven't done that yet, but who knows, there, there could be a potential drill on the cards. I really like Frank, actually. He's, he's like all squidgy and lovely. He's like a little pug. <laughs> I just want to stroke him. Mm. I love Angel Delight. Yeah, right. Uh, me too. <laughs> Looks like your mum and Frank are getting on well. Look, I know you media types like to speculate, but there is nothing going on with those two. Right foot red. Hmm. Nice shot, man. Oh, I wonder what fucking Frank's got on store for us today. Wait, is it my hit now? Or your hit? Uh, my hit. Oh, apparently he's got uh, some kind of adventure day. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Adventure? Who'd... Wait, sir! Come in! Oh, for... Hi, and welcome to Tim's Kitchen. Today, we are making pims, a British favourite. First step to making pims is the ice. <sighs> oh, God, it's cold, isn't it? Ooh. Step two is to add the fruit. And as you can see, I have a chopping board full of chopped up fruit, which I prepared earlier. First, the apples, then the oranges, a bit of a cucumber, and finally, some strawberries. I do love a good strawberry, I do. Step three is the important bit, the adding of the pims. Now with pims, you don't, you don't want too much or too little. Just uh, see how you feel on the day. The final step is the adding of the lemonade. Add that in. After all that, you give it a good stir. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Lovely. All right, now, Tim, we, we don't want another pickle like that, do we, all right? No, 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 don't just, worry. Just watch your step in the future. It's, it's not, not hard. I've got it all under oh. control. Oh. Okay. Mm, so Tim, I like the fruit, by the way. Thank you. Could you get us some biscuits? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, some biscuits. Where are they? Oh, mate, you're going to have to go That's to Tesco's. Thing. You don't have any. Just I'll be back in 20 minutes. All right, nice Thank one. Thank you very much. Cheers for the enthusiasm. He's a nice guy, isn't he, that Tim? Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, Frank's got me down. Uh, what have I got planned? Well, we've got bat and ball. We've got a massage or two, possibly. And um, a lovely little boat ride, if they're lucky, at the end of the day. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Right, guys, welcome to the away day. That is Ray Day. All right, you're all a band, so let's get those vocals warmed up. All right? Ray Day. 
Ray Day Ray Day Come on Ray Day Ray Louder Ray Day Ray Day Ray Day Come on Ray Day Ray Day Ray Day Ray Day Right guys, just picture yourselves at the end of a lovely cliff. A oh, cliff. Yeah, everything I want it to be, really. I mean, the team team looks stronger. We look more together now. I think they're going to be ready for it. <laughs> 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 no, this is just silly. You're meant to fucking hit the ball. You're throwing it at me. Hit the ball. I'm learning nothing from this. Uh, the radio's going great, actually. Like, I thought it was going to be shit, but after the chance, it got me a bit warmed up. Sorry about that bat and ball incident, Frank. That's okay, no problem. Get those shoulders loose, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think so. Go! Come on! Come on! Woo! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Yes! yes! Come, on. Yeah! Come on! I'll go, Ray. Come on, guys. Go on. Steady, Tim. Steady, Steady, Steady. 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 Steady, So today's the big day, um, the gig day. It's the be all and end all for podium, I think. Um, if it goes well, then we could go on to succeed. But if it fails, then I really don't want to know what. I really don't know what happened to the band. You've got a gig. You've got a gig. Got a gig. I never expected to be a band manager, but I'm just I'm so excited for the lads, you know? They've, they've got so much potential. What's the worst thing that could happen? Well, my drum kit could explode. I don't think that would go down too well. When I was younger, I used to shit myself quite a lot, especially in front of audiences. I really don't want that to happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous at all. I, I really like being in front of people, actually. I've got this real nostalgic thing for when I was younger. I used to do these, these weird naked wrestling shows in front of my dad's friends. I've never had friends before, and well, they're good friends because, well, they haven't let me down. And they won't let anybody down tonight. I, well, I offered to do it naked for this show, actually, but apparently it's not a crowd pleaser. I think, uh, I think the band's getting better and better, really. As, just as it goes along, and um, it's only going to keep getting um, more and more better. Podium's been a band for a while now, and I think we've all grown up together with it, but we've never reached that stage of playing live. But tonight is the night. Well, well, well I thought I well, 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 Yes! Yes! How do you like those apples? I tell you, there's no doubt in my mind that Podium can go on to be the best band in the world. Ever. I've been looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm absolutely bricking it. Morning, Michael. How are you doing? Not too bad, self. I'm alright, thank you. Let's step into my office where we can discuss some things further, yeah? Yeah. Alright. So Michael, I brought you in today because I've got a letter from Dell in Colombia which I'd like to read to you. But before we start, would you like some quavers? Um, no, I'm right, thanks. Alright, in case you change your mind. Anyway, let's get down to business. Dear Michael, 
there's a lot of stuff that probably needs explaining. Like how I ended up on the Colombian border with 5 kilos of cocaine. All I can say is, love can make you do crazy things. And love with a ladyboy make these things go from crazy to mental. Never fall in love with a ladyboy. But this is not about me and Shalala. This is about you. Frank told me about the gig. He also said you were bricking it. Word of advice? Don't. You're the most talented bloke I know. Never doubt the only way is up. I smuggle cocaine because it was my only option and you've got a better one. Get on that stage, look that crowd in the eye and say, we are podium, drink our milky goodness. Now go out there and do me proud. Sincerely, your buddy Dale. You're right buddy, you need a cuddle. Yeah, please, yeah. Bring it in. Wins come few and far between in life, but today I feel like I've won, and 
I feel like podium of one as well. What are you going to do now? We just keep on going. Last night was absolutely boom. Like, the band were a madness and the whole night was just cream. Yeah, I'm very happy with how the gig went last night. But I knew they'd do well. Oh, I just love podium. From the top of my head until the bottom of my toes, every part of me just loves podium. I bet you're wondering how we've got so many people down there. You give them drinks vouchers and they will come. They're all right. Um, to be honest, I don't really care about music anymore. When they didn't put me in the band, I, I became a professional cyclist. I mean, now I'm cycling for Sky. Well, the gig last night was absolutely brilliant and I was so proud of my Michael. He just, was, he just blew me away. I think he's going to go all the way to the top. They think they're going to the top, do they? Not a fucking chance, mate. Hopeless. Won't be ever seeing them ever again. What a waste of time. I love their hats and, oh, the bassist's beard. I could nuzzle my face in that and fall asleep for a thousand years. Bunch of wankers, actually. Fucking don't like them at all. All of them, shit. Yeah, he dragged me along, it was all right. You had a great time, it was cream. Okay. You had a great time afterwards. Podium, absolutely fucking amazing. Best band in Windsor. I hope in future they'll take over the whole world. Up the podium. Thank you.